Let's get out of the house and go look at some property. Welcome to Retire Too Soon. Today we decided to go look at some property. It's good to look at property during the summer and winter. So what you want to look for is if it's going to be wetland, if there's good trees there, the landscape, whether it's flat or hilly. So today we decided to go up into the hills. So the properties definitely caused some challenges. So take a quick look around so the trees and then if you go over here it okay. so if you go over here I don't know if you've seen the video but it's like the grade is almost straight down so trying to build a house on that will cause some more ch cause challenges so, here in Alaska, we have to worry about permafrost. That's where the ground freezes and doesn't thaw out. So they classify permafrost as being frozen for two years or longer. So what happens if you build a house on top of permafrost, over a time, the ground warms up and causes the permafrost to melt. So when it starts melting, then your house can start getting on level and fall down because the ground is not supporting the weight of the house. So it's good to get out, check the property, see if you're able to even leave during the winter time. If the roads are not maintained, who's maintaining the roads? So anyways, let's head back home and I'll finish up my talk. Alright guys and girls, I made it back home. It's been a few hours, so I wanted to close out this video. As you've seen earlier, went up into the hills, looked at some property. The, you know, as I predicted, being in the hills, it made some challenging areas to build. One side of the road, it was pretty much a, I want to say straight downhill, but I don't know, let's see percentage wise like 40% or so. So you have to build your house on stilts to have a flat house. And on the other side was, you know, normal type of up and down terrain, which is, you're able to work with it. Sorry, my uh, furnace has kicked on. You can work with that, but that means bringing in dirt or 
taking away dirt. And here with potential of having permafrost, it's better to add dirt than to take away because you spend a lot of time digging at it. But you don't want to build your house on permafrost because if you warm up permafrost, it melts over time, your foundation breaks and your house a collapse. So if you're in a area that has a lot of permafrost, there's different methods of how you're able to build to prevent that from happening, but it's best to do some research and not buy a piece of property that has permafrost. So it's a little different um, techniques on how you can do it. So you want to go out during the summer and winter time, see how the roads are. A lot of the roads are not paved. So if you don't like driving on gravel, then you need to go and check it out during the summertime because wintertime the ice and snow doesn't melt so you can't see what the roads look like. And you gotta find out if the roads are public or private maintained. If it's private, then you either have to pay or plow it yourself. Or all the neighbors get together and once a year you pay a fee so you can have the road plowed for you during the winter time. And you need to know what type of restrictions. We have covenants here. Covenants? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. But it's rules on how you can build. Um, if you're allowed to have kind of like association, so. But it's not an association, it's more of the, the neighbors complain about what you have. But it could be, you can't have so many vehicles. Your house has to be a certain color. I don't think it's that strict, but how it's built, there's rules and stuff that you have to follow. Or it could be G1 where you can pretty much do whatever you want. It's not regulated at all. So you have to do your research, go look, and you know, make the right choice. So I hope this was helpful, gave you guys some good information, and make sure you hit punch, kick, whatever you gotta do, hit that subscribe button. So I appreciate you guys taking your time out of your day to watch the video, and there'll be more videos to come. Oh, in the comments below, you know, right down there, right below, let me know if you enjoyed this video, or what parts of the video you enjoyed, and if you think I'm getting a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera. So, alright, thanks again, and subscribe. Until the next time, bye.